Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and you're thinking about mentalism. In fact, you're thinking about doing mentalism with nothing, just you and the other person. We call that propless mentalism. And if you're thinking about propless mentalism, where do you start and what are the best things to get and learn? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another magical viewer question. This is a real viewer question asked of me only last week, only last week. That's how it works around here. That's how it works. If you guys ask a question, I'm gonna answer, maybe. <laughs> but if I think it's a good question, right? If I think it's a good question, we could turn it into a video, maybe something everybody uh, wants to learn about, then yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Propless mentalism. That's what we're talking about, propless mentalism. What is it? Sounds easy, right? And I, I hear you, I hear you, because you're, you're, you're uh, frustrated with slights and uh, gimmicks that don't always work, and you think to yourself, you know, it would be great if I could just walk out the door with nothing and be able to do an entire mentalism act. Like if I could show my spectators that I literally have nothing on me and I could just do magic with my mind and just with the you know, environment, that would be the ultimate, right? And you're right, it would be. It, it really does come across as being the like ultimate level, right? I get it. But let's, uh, let's dispel some false assumptions. Propolis mentalism is not easy by any means. Just because you don't have a prop that might break or might not work, just because you're not doing any slights, doesn't mean it's easy. It is not easy at all to walk out with nothing and be able to convince another person that somehow magic has taken place. I mean, think about it, just think about it for a second. If you had a self-working trick, right? A self-working trick, that is completely easy and doesn't require any uh, difficult slights at all, then the opposite of that would be no prop, right? And tons of preparation. So you're almost going to the hardest form of magic, not the easiest. I think, that's just my personal opinion, I think propless mentalism is among the most difficult to perform. Not difficult because there's hard slights that you have to learn, obviously. Not difficult like that, but only because much of it, most of it, depends so much on understanding how to use your words, right? How to use what you're saying. You're a master of subtlety and nuance, and those tools are usually things that mind readers develop over years of practice, right? Th those, those are things that you learn after performing in the real world uh, in the day-to-day. -day. And really, the only way to practice propless mentalism is in real life. How are you gonna practice propless mentalism without a spectator? You almost can't, right? You can rehearse and rehearse and rehearse, but until you're in the moment, you have no idea what's gonna happen or if it's gonna work. Which means propolis mentalism doesn't always hit, it's not 100%. Which means also, you have to be a skilled enough performer to be able to weave and dodge when those things happen. Now, what I'm gonna give you right now is a top 10, okay? I'm gonna give you a top 10 of propolis mentalism material that's available to you, okay? And this is just, this is just my top 10 uh, intermixed with some things that I found out uh, doing some research, asking some other mentalists what they think uh, would be a top 10. And uh, certainly, I don't know that you'd ever go out and do a completely 100% propless act. I think if you're gonna start this, crawl before you can walk, all right? Crawl before you can walk, which means insert one trick, insert one piece of propless mentalism into an act and see how it goes. But I'm gonna say, you know what? If if this is new to you, all right, and you're all excited, and you're like, oh, I can't wait to, to make my list and see my top 10 list, before I even get there, 
I would say, please invest in yourself and your education first before you start moving on to tricks. There is a wealth of mentalism that's in books, that's you know, in DVDs, that you should be learning and studying before you even get to propolis mentalism. I mean, first off, top of my head, uh, Luke Germain, 3510. I'm gonna, rec I'm gonna recommend that book later for a different reason, but you know, soak up stuff from Luke Germain. Ted Leslie, okay, Corinda, Anaman, those are names that you should be already familiar with, okay? Banachek, you should be a disciple of Bob Cassidy, okay? These are people that you should know forward and backward. You should be listening to these voices, and, and then I think you're gonna be ready to start entering into propolis mentalism. Just because I think if you, if you jump into propolis mentalism too fast, like if you're just going from card magic or coin magic to propolis mentalism, if you, I think you'll be discouraged. That's all. I just think it's, it's not gonna be what you think it is. Build a foundation first, okay? Build that foundation first. All right, so I got 10 things for you. 10, my top 10, okay? I'm, I'm putting, I guess I'm putting them in order and I'm gonna just fly through these, right? And I've done reviews for many of these things. So if there's anything you have a question about, you can probably just use the YouTube search feature, okay? And search, you will find the review for these as well. Coming in at number 10, Freeform Mentalism from Peter Turner. Now, you guys know I love Peter Turner, so why am I sticking him at the bottom? He's actually in my number nine and my number 10 spot. Um, only because uh, this is where I started. I started with Freeform Mentalism, this is where I began. And so there's a couple tricks in here that I think are rock solid. Uh, it is $50, okay, 50 bucks. You're gonna get nine tricks, three hours of Peter Turner's teaching. And of course, it's like any other Peter Turner uh, video you've ever seen. Um, a lot of this is gonna be magic theory. The gems are listening to what Peter is saying in his theory section. Uh, this was my first introduction to propolis mentalism. Uh, there's two tricks on here. Uh, Wish You Were Here is great because it's an imagination uh, trick where they, they uh, come up with a destination somewhere in the world and you read their mind. And then Isabella's Star is fabulous. Uh, this is where you get their date of birth. Number nine is How to Control Minds by Peter Turner. Uh, this is a recent release of Peter's. $150 over at illusionist.com. Tons of tricks in this, tons of tricks and tons of theory. And all of these impossible looking, impossible looking hours of teaching and I would add difficult. These are difficult and this is kind of why uh, this is in my number nine spot. Not because it's not as good as anything else, I think it is, but I think the difficulty level is high and this will take a lot of practice and memorization. Number eight is a book, A Piece of My Mind by Michael Murray. Now, this isn't all propolis mentalism, but there is a lot of propolis mentalism in this book, all right? And, you know, when I was listing off names uh, of mentalists that you should know that should be on your library, Michael Murray is definitely one of them. $60 book, 264 pages. Uh, the trick in here that I think is great that would work for um, propolis mentalism is he has a propolis mentalism uh, pin reveal. So a pin code reveal, like for an ATM. So that one's fabulous, fantastic. Um, I think a pin code reveal, I would add that, I would say that that is one, uh, that's a trick you should learn, okay? So I've mentioned uh, their date of birth, right? Isabella Starr, uh, you should know a trick where you get their, their date of birth and probably then go into some sort of astrological or you know, uh, zodiac type of reading. Um, the imagine destination place where they think of a vacation spot and then you reveal that, okay? And then a pin reveal. I think those are great, you know? That's why, that's why this list is, is happening. I'm, I'm giving you the reference where, where the prop, it, you know, where the tool is, and then saying, you know, it's in this book. Um, again, Michael Murray, fantastic, fantastic book. But again, a lot of the tricks in there are gonna be difficult to do. All right, so those are some big tools. Those are some big tools in your tool belt. Let's move on to uh, just some one hit wonders, okay? So uh, number seven is Quinta by Phil Smith. This is a propolis way, it's a method, okay? This is a propolis way that you can force anything. So this is propolis in that you can use items that are just in the room around available to you or something that maybe, you know, what's in the spectator's pockets, 
but prop less because you brought nothing with you, right? It's simple, it's direct. You can do it anytime, anywhere, 32 bucks. $32 Quinta by Phil Smith. And let me just throw out, Phil Smith is another name you should have in your magic library, okay? You should be looking at tricks from Phil Smith, whether propless or not, uh, as far as a creator uh, and somebody that introduces things to the world of mentalism, he's a giant, giant. All right, number six, you should be able to do a phone unlock, okay? That is a great propless mentalism trick, but there's a prop, right? Because now everybody carries cell phones, right? And most modern cell phones require you to have uh, a lock screen. Like you don't even have an option anymore. It used to have an option, now you almost don't. You have to have a lock screen. So being able to borrow somebody's phone, right? Because again, this is somebody else's prop, you do a phone unlock. And so uh, everyone's got their favorite versions. Uh, my favorite is Codebreaker by Michael Murray and Greg Wilson. Okay, Michael Murray, Greg Wilson, Code Breaker. That's the one you gotta look for. And then I would also add, this is, this is not really another, well, it is another recommendation, but I'm not making it another, another number, okay? So let's just say number six is something with a cell phone. Alongside that, an, another piece of cell phone magic that you can do and something that you can go out there and learn for free is the Toxic Force, okay? If you learn the Toxic Force, that's another propless, mentalism effect that you can do really super easy again borrowed item look for the toxic force all right so you got a pin code reveal you got a phone unlock i would also offer number five you should learn how to do a cold reading cold reading cold reading can be done anytime anywhere and there's all kinds of levels of cold reading you can do really broad cold reading where you know the things you're saying are, are super super duper general or you could move on from there and get a little bit more personal. There are some tools out there uh, if you're wondering, okay, how do I learn how to do cold reading? And if you don't know what cold reading is, it's walking up to a stranger, right? A perfect stranger, and then telling them things about themselves or their past or uh, their personality, right? Uh, based on just, you know, your careful observation. Like if, again, if you were gonna do Isabella Starr, which was our number 10 recommendation, then going into a cold reading after that would be a great kind of add-on piece. Uh, some references, uh, some tools for cold reading, I would recommend uh, going over to Vanishing Ink and looking at the book The Dance by Brad Henderson. It's a $60 book. And then you can also find a book, I believe you can find it on Amazon, uh, The Full Facts Book of Cold Reading by Ian Rowland. All right, let me give you another reference and uh, our number four is the Atlas Brookings Live that he did for Penguin Magic. So you go down to Penguin Magic, look for Atlas Brookings, look for his live event, $30, $30, and you're gonna get an entire act, an entire act of propless mentalism, and a lot of these tricks are a lot more simple and easier to perform than the ones we've listed so far. So that's why I'm kind of putting it a little higher, okay? Atlas is gonna talk about uh, when the right time to go propolis is. He's gonna talk about how to present your material and what to do when things don't go the way you'd expect, right? He's gonna teach you the right way and the wrong way to uh, succeed and fail. For $30, you're gonna get seven tricks and theory. Seven tricks and theory. It's a great place to start um, for propolis mentalism. Number three, I said I would come back to 3510, right? 3510, by Luke Germay and Penguin Magic. Now, of course, inside 3510, there's gonna be more than just propolis mentalism, obviously. It's a, it's a book, okay? And uh, the, the, it's gonna have um, theory, right? Some of his essays and tricks. But the reason why I'm suggesting 3510 is for his trick or for his handling on touching on Hoy. Touching on Hoy is another staple, okay? in the propolis mentalist tool belt. And if you don't know touching on Hoy, you don't know that uh, routine, probably Google it, right? You could, or just probably search it on YouTube and watch somebody else do it. Um, but Luke Germay has some of the best handling, best teaching on it, and you're gonna get a great book alongside it. So don't just get touching on Hoy, go get that book, right? Then you'll have a book with some other tricks in it, but you're getting the book to get touching on Hoy because it's a great propolis mentalist trick. 
Number two, I'm gonna suggest you do a witch hand effect, okay? A witch hand effect is great for uh, working propolis. And again, you get a prop, <laughs> right? Because you're gonna borrow a coin. This is a witch hand effect with a borrowed coin, and uh, I think it's a great propolis trick. Now, the one I'm gonna recommend, again, everyone has their favorite, but I'm gonna tell you my favorite, and that, the one I think that's gonna work the best, Tequila Hustler. Uh, if you go down to P Penguin Magic, they're actually uh, selling Tequila Hustler Deluxe now. Tequila Hustler Deluxe, Mark Elsden, Peter Turner, Colin McLeod, and Michael Murray. Amazing, right? You get all those teachers. You get to see their handlings for this. It's a witch hand effect, you know, liar truth effect, okay? So you decide whether you're a liar uh, or a truth teller. Best handling ever of a witch hand coin effect. And again, borrowed coin, you can do it anywhere, anytime. All right, so my number one. My number one is again, a resource. And I'm gonna cheat and give you two. <laughs> but the thing that ties them together is uh, Fade and Billick. Fade and Billick for me is uh, one of my all time favorite mentalists, favorite creators. And every time I read something he's done or written, um, the word genius just pops up over and over again. He's got two resources that I would say either one of these could be your number one, okay? Um, and they're both available in two different places. So the first one is Proteus. Proteus from Fade and Billick. Uh, you're gonna ask the person to freely think of a drawing, any drawing. And despite how impossible this looks, you're gonna know exactly what they're thinking of at any time. This is a $55 trick. 55 bucks, but that's why it's in the number one slot because it's friggin' awesome. My second recommendation, uh, should you not want that one or you should just look for a different one, uh, look for the Phasma lecture notes. Now, you can find Phasma in Orion. Those are some books that uh, Faden wrote. Uh, Orion's like $300. <laughs> so uh, see if you can find the Phasma lecture notes. They were out there. Um, I got them originally. You might still be able to get them from Faden. I don't know. Go check. But look for the Phasma lecture notes. Again, it's gonna be about um, reading someone's mind. They're thinking of a memory, okay? They're thinking of a memory and you are gonna be able to tell them every little detail about that memory. And nothing's written down. Nothing is written down, okay? So uh, they're, they're actually gonna feel like you just crawled inside their head and went through the filing cabinet and pulled their memory out. I mean, it's great. And I don't think mentalism looks any better than this. This is as best as it can ever look. Like I said, if you can't find the lecture notes, they are available in the Orion books. The Orion books are an insanely awesome uh, resource and a great investment. $300, I mean, there's a ton of propolis mentalism in there as well. Uh, Faden is a fan of that. Plus there's other great stuff in there. I can't speak more highly of the Orion books, but I, I realize it's a large investment. So that's why I'm offering if you can find the Phasma lecture notes or Proteus, one of those two as a standalone would definitely be your number one spot. All right, I didn't wanna make this video too long and I can see that I did. <laughs> but like I said, you can ask questions below, of course. Uh, if there's a propolis mentalist trick that you recommend or that I didn't mention and you think uh, it's worthy of note, let us know down below. Or if there's a witch hand effect that, that you've enjoyed, put that down below. Uh, a phone unlock, um, put that down below. If you have a resource for cold readings, put that down below. Um, yeah, any anything that uh, you were thinking of while I was talking, uh, if you have an addition to that, we would love to hear it. That's what makes the internet great, is the sharing, the collective of ideas. No one person speaks louder than the other. We are a community. Uh, we are a brotherhood, a sisterhood, right? We are a family. And so uh, comments welcome, comments completely welcome. Thanks for uh, the recommendation for this topic and I'll see you guys next time, bye.